5 Tips to Grow Your Instagram Audience Faster Has your Instagram account hit a plateau? Have you stopped seeing new subscribers appear on your page? Perhaps your numbers are even going down? Or maybe you never had any luck in the first place? Don't feel bad. This is extremely common and something that countless creators and marketers have to struggle with. And the good news is, is that you can grow your account with just a few simple changes. In this report, we'll explore what those are. 1. Post regularly The optimum amount of posts to make in a day is 1 to 3. This has been demonstrated across many accounts, as it ensures that enough people actually get to see and engage with your content. 2. Be consistent Posting regularly like this is one way that you can be consistent. Another is to post content that is always on brand and that matches the tone of your previous images. In fact, many businesses recommend using the same filter on every single image. This is important as it allows you to create a consistent theme on your page and it ensures that the overall impact of your account is greater. 3. Use hashtags You get 30 opportunities to use hashtags for each photo, so use them all. If you had 30 opportunities to play the lottery for free, would you enter just once and leave it at that? A good hashtag is one that's popular, but not saturated. Aim for those that have around 30 to 300,000 posts. But with that said, there's value to trying to get a range of different hashtags in terms of popularity too. Get a few huge ones and a few smaller ones in there for good measure. 4. Use video, live, and stories. Instagram isn't just about posting photos. Video actually has a greater engagement than photography on the platform, and it can also help you to convey a more complex message more efficiently. Likewise, don't ignore Instagram Live or Stories. Stories let you engage with your audience in a different way, while Stories are far more two-way and ideal for building trust, loyalty, and authority. 5. Be social Remember, Instagram is a social media account. That means it's not just about posting things and moving on. You should actually be interacting with your audience and engaging with them. So respond to comments and messages, leave comments on other photos, and follow people that are in your niche. How to create a strong brand for your Instagram account Instagram marketing does not occur in a vacuum. That is to say that your success on Instagram is at least partly dependent on your success elsewhere and the way that you integrate your strategy with other forms of social media marketing and content marketing. And the one crucial thing that will tie it all together, that would be your branding. A strong brand is absolutely critical when it comes to helping people quickly identify what your account is about and whether or not it might be ideal for them. So how do you go about making a great brand for Instagram? Stay tuned and I'll explain everything. First, just what is a brand? A brand is more than a logo. The logo should in fact be an expression of your brand, by which I mean it should reflect what your brand is all about and help others to quickly understand that. From that point onward, your brand should also help others to then identify your content and to know that they're dealing with the same business that they have been. So the place to start is with a mission statement. This is a statement of intent. It explains what the idea behind your business is, why you created it to begin with, and how you hope to make people's lives better through it. Likewise, think about who your brand is for. Who is your buyer persona? Get specific. If your niche is travel, then think about the kind of travel you're focused on. Is your audience interested in backpacking and experiencing countries in an authentic manner? Are they interested in beautiful scenery? Or are you selling luxurious experiences and getaways? These three focuses create entirely different brands aimed at different people. So once you've identified these factors, the logo can be born out of that. Your job is to express that through your logo and your company name, so that someone who has no prior experience of your business can look at it and know right away whether you might have something to offer them. Likewise, make sure that all the images you post and all the text you write is in service of that same mission statement and focus, such that all your content and marketing material is pushing the same values and speaking to the same core audience. This is how you will go about creating a strong brand for your Instagram account, and ultimately, your entire digital marketing strategy.
How to create a consistent Instagram account to grow your audience massively. What's the key to a highly successful Instagram account? Hint, it's not owning the best camera in the world, nor is it being a big celebrity. Although neither of those things will hurt, of course. Rather, the key to a hugely successful Instagram is consistency. That means posting every single day, and ideally up to three times a day. This has been shown by market research across thousands of channels to be the most effective amount to post. So you better get a plan going of how you're going to offer that much consistent content. But it's not just posting consistently in terms of timing that matters. It's also posting consistently in terms of subject matter, style, and tone. One of the biggest mistakes you can make as a creator is to not settle on a single niche or to include too many photos of your dog or kids. Occasionally, showing people a behind the scenes so they can know the creator behind the brand is no bad thing. But that is what Instagram stories are for. Do this consistently on your main feed, and you'll find your audience quickly becomes bored and disinterested. Likewise, you need to think about consistency in terms of the look and feel of your content. Did you know that most of the biggest business accounts will only use a single filter on their photos? Take a look at the Instagram accounts of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and you'll find that many of his photos during a certain period in the gym use the same filters. What this does is make the Instagram page itself look much more appealing at a glance, so that you will be more inclined to want to follow it. Most people won't see a single photo and decide to follow an account. They will follow that photo to its feed, and this is what will then help them decide that they want to become a follower. Not only does having a consistent look that makes the page look coherent, look more professional and impressive, it also gives the account a more singular style and vision, in which tells the viewer whether this is a page that they would be interested in following. If every photo is different, how can they know if they're going to like the next one? How to win at Instagram without taking a single photo Instagram, it's all about the photos, right? Well, yes and no. Sure, Instagram is populated largely by images, and this is what was originally focused on when it first came to life. But that doesn't mean that photography is the only thing to be found on the platform. Nor does it mean that you have to be an ace photographer in order to be successful. If you don't have a high quality camera, if you aren't particularly confident in your ability to take photos, or if you just don't have the time, you can still be highly successful on Instagram. And in this presentation, you're going to find out how. One way to become successful on Instagram without taking a single photo is to use stock photography sites. Sign up to one of those, and you'll be able to find and use photos in any niche or category simply by searching for them. You'll be entitled to edit those images too, and even do things like add writing on top of them. So let's say you have a motivational page. All you need to do is locate photos of people climbing mountains or standing in front of sunsets and then add in some inspiring quotes using fonts that you get from the same source. It's that easy. That's one way you can create a successful account without taking a single photo, but there are others too. One is to use pictures from other users. You'll need to ask their permission first, but if you can promise free exposure, then most people will be pleased and flattered to be included. This way you can create an account that acts as the best of within a certain category or a showcase. People will clamor to be featured as your channel grows and you'll be able to keep a consistent stream of high quality content without having to take any photos yourself. And we're still just scratching the surface. You can use photos that fall under fair use. You can use illustrations and designs. You can use 3D models or you can use snippets of audio. All that's standing between you and a highly successful Instagram account then is your imagination. So don't be put off by Instagram just because you aren't a photographer. Think outside the box and you can still create a highly successful online brand. Three ways to produce more Instagram content more quickly. Instagram is a fantastic option for marketers in a hurry. It doesn't take very long to post a photo or an image, but potentially that single post can do extremely big numbers for you. But while this is true, it's also true that a lot of people find themselves running out of time to take photos. Unfortunately, photography does require a little bit of prep, as you need to find a good spot, set up the subject, and make sure your camera is charged. 
If you're taking one photo, then why not take 10? In other words, take batches of photos and you'll spend less time in total because all the setup will be done. If you're taking photos of views while traveling, make sure to get far more than you need to use right away. Opportunity on a similar note, you should also make sure that you seize every opportunity possible to get useful images. In particular, this might mean taking photos of things that are likely to lend themselves to future posts and topics. Did you need to withdraw a whole load of cash to pay the plumber? Then great, use that opportunity to take some photos of the cash on the table, as this is something that can work in a whole lot of contexts. And while you're at that scenic location, this would be a good opportunity to get photos of not only the view, but of you doing yoga in front of the view, of your product in front of the view, of you climbing that mountain and looking successful. Think of every angle and version of the shot that you might need in the future. Stock Not every photo you post needs to come from you originally. Sign up to a stock photography site, and that way, you can gain access to a limited reserve of images that you can use to grow your account, edit these images and add text, and you can get even more use from them. But what is the purpose of those images? From a business standpoint, Instagram is less about reaching as many people as possible, though it is about that too, and is more about trying to make a big impression on those people. It's about building loyalty and influence. And the way you do that is by selling your value proposition. Or to put it another way, you do it by selling the dream. Because behind every business product or service is some kind of dream, some kind of promise that the company is making to the audience, and it creates an emotional response in the viewer that makes them want to follow, so that they can feel that this lifestyle is already a part of their identity and that ideally also makes them want to buy.